Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be talking about the movie The Kung Fu Cult Master, also known as The Evil Cult. It is one of the best wuxia movies to ever come out. The movie stars none other Jet Li, who plays Cheng Mo Kei, with supporting cast such as Sammo Hung as Chang Sun Feng and Colin Cho as Sung Ching Su. There is a legend that Kwok Ching and his wife Wong Young got the Condor hero, Young Guo's heavy iron sword. They mixed it with fine gold and forged it into a sword and saber. One is called the Dragon Slaying Saber and the other is Heaven Reliant Sword. They also wrote all they've learned together with Yu Fei's tactics and the secret of the most powerful martial arts manual, the Nine Yin Manual, and hid them inside the swords. Whoever gets it could rule the world of martial arts. In order to get these two all-powerful weapons, a lot of bloodshed was spilled. Two conflicting groups were formed. One of the groups was Central Plains' six major sects, headed by Shaolin, Wu Gang, Yi Mei, Kun Lun, Kong Tong, and Mount Hua. The other group was those who came from Persia. They called themselves the main cult, but they were called the demon cult by others. They are a mysterious group. They create chaos and always go against the Yuan Dynasty. Their headquarters is on Bright Peak. The cult has four guardian kings known as Purple Dress Dragon King, White Brows Eagle King, Golden Haired Lion King, and Green Winged Bat King. Their martial arts are the best. The two groups were strongly against each other. Their disciples couldn't make friends with each other. However, the fifth disciple of Wu Deng's Cheng Sang Fang, Cheng Sui Han, was a righteous hero and disregarded unreasonable rules. He fell in love with Yan So So, the daughter of White Brow's Eagle King. He even became blood brothers with Se Shun, Golden Haired Lion King. Golden Haired Lion King's master, Xing Quan, slaughtered Se Shun's family in order to help the Yuan Dynasty eliminate the Ming cult. Se Shun went all out in seizing the dragon slain saber to avenge his family. He killed many disciples from the six major sects and was eventually blindsided by Xin Quan. Sui San and So So didn't want others to know Shun's whereabouts, so they went to a faraway island, which is known as Ice Fire Island, with Si Shun and lived in seclusion. Although Si Shun got the dragon slain saber, he couldn't understand the secret of the sword. Until the 100th birthday of Cheng San Feng, Sui San brought his wife and his son Cheng Mo Ke back to Wu Dang Mountains for his master's birthday. This kicked off a chain of events leading to Cheng Mo Ke learning the Nine Yang divine skills and the heaven and earth great shift stances, eventually becoming the leader of the Ming sect and the most powerful martial arts master in the world. The Kung Fu Cult Master is a classic and it was the first movie I saw that introduced me to Jet Li. The movie is full of wuxia swordplay, kung fu, energy beams, flying through the air, ultra powerful and supernatural elements. This movie is one of Jet Li's best martial arts movie. The storyline and pacing are all on point. The character buildup of Jet Li's character was well developed and never once did the movie feel like it was jumping all over the place. There are also elements of comedy as well to line things up a bit. However, with Jet Li at the helm, all of the martial arts that took place in this movie was beyond exceptional. The soundtrack to the movie is great as well, and the main battle scene between the two groups was great. This is when we see Jet Li going full beast mode and it puts a huge smile on my face. In conclusion, you need to watch this movie. It is one of the best that Jet Li has to offer and it is one of those movies where I can watch it time and again. The only disappointment to this movie is, there was never a sequel to this movie even though the movie ended with a cliffhanger, which has always confused me when this movie was such a hit. Well that is all for now guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this.